Hi everyone, it's Megan from Teach Me ABA and we today are going to talk about task list item D6 to help you guys all study for that big BCBA exam. D6 is about describing the rationale for doing comparative, component, and parametric analyses, which I'm sure you guys all love and remember from your coursework. Just kidding, you don't. <laughs> Comparative analyses are actually super helpful, and so while all of these are complicated, hopefully after today's video, you guys will understand why they're important, otherwise somebody wouldn't have invented them, and how you can actually put them to use. So a comparative analysis is taking two or more different interventions and comparing the effects of these interventions on a specific behavior. So if you think of comparative analysis, it has the word right in it. You are comparing. A component analysis. So if you think about what a component is, it's a part of something, right? It's a larger part of a bigger whole. A lot of our interventions have a lot of moving parts and so uh, it might be difficult to implement something that's so comprehensive for direct care staff or even parents. So it may be useful to do a component analysis where you see the effects of either adding or removing different components of a specific intervention. So for example, you might have a behavior support plan that includes uh, teaching functional communication, putting the behavior on extinction, and uh, rewarding the absence of behavior for a period of time. You can isolate one of those components and see if in isolation it'll work because if one of those parts of treatment has the same impact as running all three, you can really simplify and make it easier to run your intervention if you fi figure out which component is actually relative to the changes in behavior that you're seeing. The last one I think is what confuses people most because it's not a word that we use in everyday uh, conversation. And this is parametric analysis. And I like to think about the word metric in there. Metric is like measurement, right? Uh, think about the metric system. I don't know much about it, millimeters, centimeters, but it's a measurement, right? A metric is a measurement. So a parametric analysis is figuring out what dosage of treatment or what amount of treatment is necessary to get the impacts that you want to see in your client. So if you can get away with providing only 10 hours of services a week and you had been providing 40 but you can get the same bang for your buck for 10, then you might want to do a parametric analysis and see what dosage of treatment hours are effective. This is also really helpful if you have clients who are on psychiatric medications. These medications have tons of side effects and so if we can whittle it down to the lowest dosage necessary to maintain appropriate behavior, then you can really do a lot of benefit for your clients. So you might also want to work with psychiatrists to collaborate to say, okay, how can we tweak these medications and we'll help you measure the effects that these different dosages have on behaviors. So parametric analysis is great for when you want to see if you can alter the amount of an intervention that you're applying and work on getting either the lowest dosage necessary or just finding what's best for that client. So maybe make some flashcards and just remember these words. Comparison, comparing two or more treatments. Component, figuring out what part or component of treatment works. And parametric, the metrics, the measurement, what amount of treatment is necessary. I hope you guys found this video useful. Happy studies. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share us with your friends, and drop us a comment or a question if you have any help that you'd like.